Hi, I'm Dr. Mark B. Hubble, and this is your Monday morning mini message. You know, as I sit here in the office of my house, not only am I grateful for everything that God has blessed me with, but I'm also grateful for the opportunity to be able to share this message to so many people through this form of social media. Now, I know that social media gets a bad rap from time to time about the negativity and the bad things that people post, but there is a flip side of that coin. You know, there's also people that are using this platform to do something positive and to share a positive message. When I was first approached and asked to do something like this, I was skeptical at first, and then I did it and I got some good feedback and I got a message from somebody that was in a foreign country that said, hey, that really brightened my day. Keep doing what you're doing. And I was able to see beyond me and realize that other people were being affected in a positive way by it. So I'm going to continue to do that because I know that it would be pleasing to God if something that I shared from my heart, from the Bible, could help somebody in their time of need or at least give them that boost that they need to have a better day. Coincidentally, this past week, somebody from another country asked me if I would do a video message to the people at their church. And this is in the country of Pakistan, which is thousands of miles away. And because of the travel restrictions I have and I can't go abroad, the only way I could be able to reach these people is to do it through a video message. And I'm very grateful for that opportunity. I want to personally thank Shahid and his wife, Anita, for allowing me to do that and for putting their faith and their trust in me that I'm going to deliver a message that is Bible-based and pleasing to God. Now, I'm going to have to have an interpreter because the people don't speak English there. So I want to keep things simple and just let them know that Jesus wants to have that personal connection with them, that personal relationship with them. And I know that some of these people come from different backgrounds. So I also want them to know that Jesus is not a respecter of persons. He doesn't care how much you have, how little you have, how old you are, how young you are, how new to the faith you are, or how long you've been in the faith. He just wants that loving relationship with you. And in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19, Jesus told his apostles before he left, he said, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So I feel like this is me following the command to make disciples of all nations. And I truly hope and pray that somebody hears that message I deliver and they want to know Christ as their Savior, or they want to have a closer personal relationship with Him. So think about this as you go about your week. When you think that there are limitations to what you can do or who you can reach, Never underestimate the power of God. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Take care and God bless.